from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. FDOT now revealing the summer SunPass debacle is still not over. Eight months later, FDOT says SunPass still has to send out more than 1.3 million toll by plate invoices. The state says it will now waive all fines and penalties until March 31st. We're working to find out how two homes caught on fire in Brandon this morning. Tommy Sims says he heard the crackling of the fire and jumped out of bed. He tried to save his neighbor, but he could not get to him in time. Authorities have not publicly identified the victim. Tomorrow you can weigh in on how Hillsborough County leaders shape the future of affordable housing. The county is holding a public forum at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. It will be at the Robert Saunders Library on Nebraska Avenue in in Tampa. In other news, Senator Bernie Sanders demanding answers tonight after a drug company is charging $375,000 a year for a drug that used to be free. Catalyst Pharmaceuticals makes that drug, which treats a rare neuromuscular disorder. Also, Apple now says it will release a software update this week to fix a FaceTime security flaw. The bug allowed callers to listen to you without you even answering the phone. Now here's Dennis with your forecast. Den? Hey, Wendy, how you doing, everybody? Boy, the warm temperatures have arrived and they're sticking around. We will deal some fog early on Tuesday morning. Temperatures mostly in the 60s, warming up into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees right on through the week. So that means the opening of the Florida State Fair looks great with mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the upper 70s. Thanks, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.